Firstly, let me get something off my chest. I'm a terrible speaker. So ignore the, the delivery, concentrate more on the content. And it's also very hot up here. <laughs> is really all mine. I consider it an honor and a privilege to help fellow Jewish families. It's a very uplifting and satisfying experience. Titans of commerce and great men like Bill Gates, Warren Buffett and Mark Zuckerberg have given away billions of dollars and they all said the same thing. They said it's the most humbling and thrilling feeling I've ever had. And Warren Buffett said, I've never been happier. Of course, they still have billions left. <laughs> and that's my very point. It's not what you give that counts, it's what's left. My view is that if I can give a substantial donation that I know will help change the lives of others and it doesn't change my lifestyle, then why not? I'm sure for most of us, our kids would inherit more than we did. My dad had a barber shop and he used to get up at 6.30 every morning to go to work so he could give me an education. And I wasn't that crash hot either. <laughs> I had extra Afrikaans lessons all my life and I failed Afrikaans in matric. <laughs> But for me, the joy of giving is impossible to describe, but the happy feeling lasts forever. I bet that everyone in this room is much, much better off than they were five years ago when the GFC struck. And now I'm going to ask you to think about your donation tonight. Naturally, a determining factor is how worthy is the cause of your generosity? And on this point, I think the JCA does a fantastic job. And I'd like to commend and congratulate and thank the executive, the members of all the committees, the staff and the volunteers for doing such a great job in making this a better community. We are lucky to have a number of very generous families and names that come to mind are the Scheinberg and Dunkel families, John Hummer Trust, the Roths and the Smorgans, the Vidal families, the Graf and Goldberg families, Kevin Burmester, Harry Trigoboff, Bob McGid, and his sister Nora. But there's one man that stands out. Everyone always goes to him for everyone, for everything. And of course, I'm talking about Frank Lowy and the Lowy families. When I think philanthropy, I think Frank Lowy. I'm sure he'll confirm I'm not the only one. <laughs> Frank's contribution to Australian and Israeli communities, Australian business and sport is immeasurable. And, you know, everybody's human. And everybody always asks Frank for everything. And I decided to give a bursary in his, in his honour because that's my way of saying thank you because I admire him so much. Winston Churchill said, we make a living by what we do, but we make a life by what we give. And I'm very humbled and proud to be a member of the club. Ask yourself, ask yourself a serious question. Ask yourself, would I rather be remembered for what I made or for what I gave? I know one thing's for sure. Everyone in this room would rather be a giver than a receiver. So tonight, I'm going to ask you not to be governed by what you gave last year. Forget about what you gave last year. Think differently. Think about the joy of giving. Think about having the power to change other people's lives. Think about making a difference. And think about choosing your own targeted project. I chose education 
and the IST Israel project. You could choose whatever you're passionate about. Give it a go. So finally, I want to thank you for allowing me to, to honor, to acknowledge my gift in this way. And let's try and make this a record year, a record, a record year for JCA. Thank you. <laughs> Please just open up their pledge envelopes now and fill them out. I think we need you, Mervyn, at the um, at the pitch moment in our events. You know, recent British research found that males donate more money to charity if the person asking is an attractive woman. I'm not making this up. This is real research. That is bad news for Michael and I. Can do very little about our gender or our looks. But the good news is that the research also found that males donate more if they see that other males have donated large amounts. And just scratch any male and you'll find a primate. Uh, Mervyn, thank you for setting the example that you have. Let's, do, let's hope that the research is right and that others do follow your fabulous example. I'm not sure where that leaves us with our women donors, but I suspect that Michael and I will need some help there too. On a separate note, we've asked Mervyn, and I'm glad to say he's agreed, to help JCA devise ways to better recognize our major donors. Many in the room have donated significant amounts to JCA over time, and we need to acknowledge that. I don't believe we've done that well enough. And given that JCA does not build physical things, we will need to be creative, and Mervyn should help us achieve that. So thank you again, all of you, for joining us this evening. This appeal is about our community. This appeal is for our community. We look forward to your continued support, and we look forward to seeing you at our events. Please stay a while and enjoy the company. Thank you very much. Thank you.